Thanks for watching this new quick training video regarding the duplex uh, stack vacuum system and uh, the quick procedure for a startup. First, this is uh, the control panel with a, a membrane pad, keypad. Uh, the two, in this case, oil lubricated rotary vane vacuum pumps, uh, all the piping with a bypass valve and of course the receiver. For uh, the start the system need to uh, connect the voltage and turn on all the mini breakers that are the control bolt control transformer by an FPA we use a duplex transformer and the PLC will be start all light must be in green position. The HMI needs some time to uh, start up. And of course we have the disconnect switch in off position because we have the, the, the complete door open. It's required to uh, open the panel with the rotary handle in off position. Also, we need to uh, deactivate the emergency stop button, otherwise the pump will not turn on. Initially, the HMI show some failures uh, because first we don't have any pressure, then the system is detecting a uh, a low pressure alarm, but also do the disconnect switch are in off position, the motors are showing failure, motor fail. Then we need to put the MCP, the motor controller in on position, both of them. And now we have the motor in okay to operate release the start the stop emerging stop button and then next step is check the rotation for each motor to do that only press f6 for the pump number one and f7 for pump number two just for more than two seconds Somebody can help to check the rotation of the motor. And if the rotation are okay, then only that you need is set the minimum operation time and the pressure, the end pressure value that is regarding of uh, the altitude of the place where the system is uh, operating. If everything is uh, already set, only need to put, for example, number, uh, pump number one in auto mode, pressing F1, and the system start to work. We are closing the, this test valve with our, our silencer in the factory. And the pump now is running. Of course, the pressure will be increasing. And when the pump satisfies the pressure level and also the minimum operation time will be turned off. For the parameter settings, we need to press F5 and then after put a uh, login and password, uh, you can set the off vacuum pressure that is regarding of the um, place of operation for the system and the altitude about the sea level and also the minimal operation time. We already said for uh, one minute, we recommend a minimal operation time of eight minutes, but we set for uh, one minute for the video proposed, uh, for the training proposed. Then press F10 and you go back to the initial screen. After that, we only need to put pump number one, for example, in auto and the system start to work. 
We are closing this uh, valve. This is for the training, simulation of uh, vacuum consumption. And then the pressure uh, go down. And as soon as the system satisfy the off pressure and also the minimum operation time, the system will be turned off. Pump number one is in operation right now. And now we can press uh, F10, like a fail acknowledgement. And we don't have any failure right now. If both systems are in auto mode and we simulate an, uh, a consumption, vacuum consumption, the pressure is decreasing. The next pump to start will be the number two because the PLC alternate the system to maintain same operation time for both units. In this case, pump number two is working. And as soon as the, the pressure level will be satisfied and also the minimum operation time, in this case one minute, the system will be turned off. This is the normal operation of the control panel. And we can see the inlet flex discharge connection for both pumps. Also in the filter, check valve, oil level and drain valve. Now the system is turned off and no alarm present. Then this is the quick operation guide for the start of the system. Uh, just ensure that the bypass valve will be close and inlet valve for pump number one and pump number two open and also inlet valve for the air receiver and outlet valve of the air receiver will be open too.